Hey guys, Marcus Kacken from Blindside Football, back for another Daily Fantasy Update. It's waiver wire time, it's Tuesday, and you're probably in your championship week, if not your semis, and you may have a championship week, week 17. So we're looking for guys that are really going to make a fantasy impact over the next couple weeks. Um, you know, gone are the days that you need depth guys or something like that for injury, because we're down to the final two weeks, guys. Depth guys just really aren't needed anymore. So you're not going to hear me tell you to pick up guys like Charlie Whitehurst, who's now the starter, or uh, Doug Martin, or somebody crazy like that. We're talking about guys who are going to come in and basically go into your starting lineups instantly. And uh, more than likely, these guys are going to go into your starting lineups because they're filling in for other injured players. So let's start off first with, um, obviously, the Dallas issue with DeMarco Murray and his broken hand. Assuming he misses this week's game against the Indianapolis Colts, you're looking at Lance Dunbar and you're looking at Joseph Randall. Now, Dunbar has been getting more touches than Randall over the last few weeks, but Randall is the bigger back. He's the guy that can kind of handle a bigger workload. He's four inches taller, 15 pounds heavier, fits more of that every down back kind of mold. So I could see Joseph Randall getting a majority of the carries this week if DeMarco Murray is out. Now, don't get me wrong. They're still going to split the carries, probably like a 60-40 split, maybe 65-35. But I think we see Joseph Randall get a majority of the carries. Now... Another running back that's going to be filling in probably for an injured, uh, an injured Frank Gore, who I don't see playing this weekend because of his concussion, is Carlos Hyde. Now, here's another guy that's almost a lock for 20 touches a game, and I would actually spend more money in my fab budget or my waiver wire priority on Carlos Hyde over guys like Joseph Randall or Lance Dunbar just because of the workload they're going to get. It's going to be a little bit more consistent when they have a little bit more workload, even though you may have a higher upside with the Dallas guys. Now, next up is a couple of receivers who, again, are filling in for injured superstars. So first up is Harry Douglas. Um, obviously, last week he filled in for Julio Jones, 10 catches, 131 yards. And this is what Harry Douglas has been. He fills in for an injured Roddy White or Julio Jones and consistently puts up these 100-yard receiving numbers. He has just been amazing when filling in for those guys and in a number two wide receiver role. Now, um, like I said, Julio Jones could be back this week. He may not be. Depends on that hip issue. But uh, it's another guy that needs to be rostered because if Julio is out, Harry Douglas is a wide receiver too in my books. Now, a guy that's a little bit further down the wide receiver pole for me is Malcolm Floyd. Now, Keenan Allen suffered a broken collarbone. He's going to be out at least this week and maybe the season. Um, and Malcolm Floyd, obviously that guy that kind of steps up for the Chargers and is going to be their number one wide receiver. And has performed pretty well this season as the number two. Now, again... I, I, he's a little bit lower for me, obviously, than Harry Douglas, because Harry Douglas has been proven and consistent. But I could see Malcolm Floyd making his way into your starting lineup if you're really desperate. And all of these guys should be on your waiver wire priority or spending some fab budget on them if your opponent in your championship has his counterpart. So if you're going up against somebody who has Frank Gore, has DeMarco Murray, has Julio Jones, Keenan Allen, you should be trying to block them from getting basically their handcuff and make these guys your top waiver priority and spending all your fab budget on them to block the other guy from filling that glaring hole that he probably has now in his starting lineup. Don't forget to subscribe below for my daily fantasy updates and follow me on Twitter at Marcus Katkin.